Hello, ladies, gents, and rampaging dromedaries. We return to Death Hall. And uh, all the fantastic adventures that happen here that have been so damn lenient. The more I play with Randy Random, the more I realize eh, maybe it's way easier than uh, Cassandra. And if you want to have the real random bullshit experience, you should maybe up the difficulty when you pick Randy Random. Because, or, or maybe we've just been exceptionally lucky. It is possible we have been exceptionally lucky in our in our experience so far. But uh, I would say definitely Randy Random is has been way, way easier than a regular Cassandra run. Uh, I believe there was a solar flare recently and that is why we have no power anywhere. It upsets me greatly because, you know, it's upsetting. It's very upsetting to see everything flicker and just drive you insane. But nothing much you can do about it at the moment. It would be great to get some research done on that geothermal. Uh, Handyman has been uh, quite the guy getting that getting that research finally done. I really need to focus way more on that because finally self-pooping chef, by the way, he seems to have improved uh, as a cook. He's gone into number six. Hell yeah. He can make some fine meals at last. Uh, nice. Uh, we were running out of... Really? Really? You, you just went to grab the rice where it was? Are you nuts? Are you kidding me right now? You piece of garbage. You inefficient piece of garbage. Just, uh... He can't even haul. Oh, you, I see, I see. You you can go and handpick your beautiful spool of rice. A mound of amazing best product that you can possibly pick. But uh, heaven forbid that you could grab a little bit more rice and put it in the pantry. That is just far too much work. You scumbag. All right. <laughs> After this spiel, I'm just going to let time roll. Is this man... Mental break. Far starting spree? Yeah. Remember that firecracker? He used to be a... He's a, you know, a pyromaniac? <laughs> this has have finally happened. Uh, he just, you know, he decided, you know what, today is a good day to start some fires. Uh, okay, Worthless is coming to extinguish this fire that will consume the entirety of my rice crops. Uh, so maybe... Where's Worthless? Worthless. I see that you are, you are like, you have some kind of psychic trait that allows you to know that there's a fire in the rice patties. But I'm going to leave you... I'm going to tell you, you may not. There you go. Useless, who is right here. Can extinguish that fire. Hopefully Firecracker will not shoot her. Because I have extinguished it. Okay, so... He's not in steel wall. He does not like steel walls. Apparently he's able to... He's able to, to set fire to a steel wall because he's just amazing. Alright. Right, I extinguish that fire. Useless, you are now my babysitter uh, for Firecracker. Yep, yep, uh, maybe. Maybe stop doing that. We're going to have to babysit Firecracker while he goes on his uh, rice igniting binge. I understand, man. Sometimes you just want to see the world burn. It's just... I don't blame you, Firecracker. Why is there potatoes here? <laughs> Why, among all the rice, there is a potato? I don't understand it. But it's there. Uh, it just feels special, I suppose. And I believe you can actually span the growing zone here. Yeah, there, there you go. There you go. Way over there? Yeah, look at that. Oh, I was wasting a few spots. Anyway, useless, continue uh, beating fire out. All right, you're doing okay. Just pat him in the back, try to calm him down, all right? Uh, Firecracker is, uh, has a little bit of a mental problem. We're not judging anybody. Some people just need to, need to let go sometimes of their anger. And I understand, I understand that this is a difficult situation for everybody. So, yeah, I I've had my stint of setting thi fi things on fire, so I get it, man. I understand, Firecracker. I don't judge you. I don't judge you. You're a good guy. In the bottom, you're a good guy. Uh, I really would appreciate that uh, if you would express yourself in a different manner. But this is something that we all have to cope with. You're a, a good member of this society. Now he's just wandering. <laughs> he's like, ugh, they keep putting down the fires. I guess I'll just go somewhere else. Maybe set fire to all these trees. It feels pretty good. 
But we need to f babysit him, otherwise I would uh, advance time a little bit longer. Ignited powder, ca uh, powder conduit. Uh, useless. You're going to be drafted and you're going to be right next to Firecracker of all times. You truly are useless because you are unable to put down fires, aren't you? Slowpoke Prostophobe. Maybe, maybe... Okay, okay, she just got uh, took care of you immediately. That's good. Uh, you, you're drafted. You're going to babysit Firecracker. Maybe I should arrest him. Actually, that's a thing that I've never done. Should would Let's try it just because I want to see how it goes. But then he will set fire to the prison, so what is that? <laughs> what will that accomplish? Let's simply just babysit. babysit. Okay, let's go. Oh, good. Crisis averted. Firecracker has finally found uh, some zen. I understand. I understand. Just don't worry about it. You are going to sow some of the crops that you're going to make up for your sins. Uh, sow some of the crops that you just tried to set fire to. Do you get any kind of catharsis or anything? Yeah, you do get catharsis, so that's nice. You know what? I would take that. I would, uh, I would volunteer for my guys to take turns setting things on fire if it will give them a twenty-point boost on their mood. I would be okay with that. So <laughs> that was uh, be, having a pyromaniac, unless he's your only guy, uh, is kind of beneficial. I don't don't mind it, Mister Man. I know that you have an infection. You are being treated though in the left ear. A major infection, only a fifty percent. Yeesh. This could be a problem. He might not survive. Uh, but I really would appreciate having all these rice where he belongs. And basically right now I'm just letting things run until I get some idle colonists. And then we'll probably just keep mining here. Uh, get rid of these components. How many components do I have? 26. Probably we need a few more. Oh, we have three colonists idle. The What I was say talking about has come to pass. So, I guess... How much steel? 389. I think uh, components would be a good idea here. Another thing that would be a good idea would be to get rid of these uh, walls and make them into... There you go. Make them into stone walls, but that's very low priority. And I don't have that much stone. Face Punch is there, getting busy with that. Uh, firecracker, everybody. Go to mining, please. please. Uh, these are unoccupied. No, Worthless is here, so this one needs to de designate power. How about these? Unowned, and then face punch. Let's uh, turn off the power for that one. Alrighty, pass some time. Dig at these compacted machinery nodes. Is there anything else to be done, really? I'm pleased with my defenses for the moment. Yeah, that's nothing happening. Uh... Perhaps I should expand that perimeter and make a real kill zone here, but until we have the turrets, it's like kind of pointless. Which is what we're researching, right? No, we're still in microelectronics. Wow. It's gonna take forever to get those. Useless is probably pretty upset. No, I guess not. Uh, I guess it counts like uh, the whole bedroom and now this stockpile is all part of her, her bedroom. Yeah, it's a lady. Useless is a lady. And this will also get mined. Pass some time. Speed it up! And this is Randy Random throws me a curveball. I, you know, I miss a little bit of, uh, of the good old struggle. It's been a little too easy so far. I can handle it. Just throw it at me. I can deal with it, man. I have a colony full of able-bodied people that are ready to, to deal with adversity. They're going to face their demons. They're going to be tested. Severe illness. This... Untreated? <laughs> Please. Worthless, are you a medic? Worthless. You are an... Appreciate a medic. Is there somebody else? I think useless will be much better. Go and treat Sheckley, please. There you go. Please do it. Please do it! We want another colonist here. I guess we should get more power going on. My batteries are kinda... Kinda low. But we just got through the night. So the batteries are doing okay, I think. So let's just uh, mine that out. Get these mined out as well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I want some components because I have... Uh, two coins idle already. I have played uh, some more in different colonies and you really do run out of components. Uh, eventually you're going to need a lot of components. And then later you get to uh, get a component synthesizer. But that also requires a ton of components. So, you know, I'm not. it's not something that... Uh, 
that you'll ever have too many of. Because once you have... Once you have too many, you can just sell them off, and it's a nice thing to sell. So there's really no reason not to mine them out if everybody else is idle. It makes no sense not to. Uh, more bedrooms would be cool. By the way, this is a poor bed. This is a normal bed. I think uh, it's time to move our our beloved face punch. Reinstall this bed right there. Reinstall this bed right here. Pop. And this can be unpowered. Inside is uh, 9 degrees, so that's pretty far. I believe, since there's two heaters here, we're going to just reinstall this one. Right in the hallway? Oh, th that's why. this These are not connected with vents. That is why the temperature is so much lower. But this one is a good spot. This area right there is a good spot and we're going to get some temperature going some vents right there and right there next to the heater I don't know how important that is but we're going to do it uh, and this will get done we'll get a brand new brand new bedroom continue digging into the flesh of the mountain is the this is probably a place where we'll just get more production so I will feel like it's fine to just Take this whole thing out and then continue this into the mountain we'll get more bedrooms carved out and if I were going to at least make one one um, a few places where I will have to build walls so that then the vent will go in there without me having to dig them in later alrighty everything's going okay pass some more time get me those components too with that component too. Good stuff, everybody that was not doing anything gets to mine. But you know what? One of you two are uh, my primary crafting seven. I believe she's the one. Yeah. Face punch. You don't want to mine. You don't want to mine anymore. You are in charge. She loves mining. She's passionate about it. But you are in charge of crafting. We don't want to make you a miner. We have a lot of new miners there you go go stone cut yeah yeah uh there's so many holy shit oh wow we're about to die <laughs> did i just say did i just say please throw me a curveball i think this qualifies yeah <laughs> well we do have lots of medicine it's not very good medicine but we do have plenty of medicine to get us through it oh excuse me a moment all right, I'm back. Sorry for that interruption. We have plague! I have never dealt with plague before in the game. I guess I've been lucky. Nobody has ever gotten plague, but I know of it. I have watched a few things on uh, other players dealing with it, and I know it's horribly terrible and uh, deadly and absolutely atrocious. I don't really know how to deal with it. So what we're going to do is right away, rock hard, silk pooping chef, Oh, and Sheckley. Sheckley is not a big deal. You know what Sheckley's gonna do? We're going to forbid... Uh, yes, we're going to forbid this door. Sheckley's just going to be right there. Uh, health, no medication. Sheckley's just going to die. I am sorry, Sheckley. But you, you didn't even make it to the colony. I am sorry that you are going to go through this. Uh, and... Uh, Maybe I should just uh, schedule for release and hopefully that will, you know, he will not communicate the plague to whoever the hell gets it. And that way, yeah, my, maybe that's the better because if he dies, we're going to get a mood def debuff and we don't want that. So I think I'm just going to get him just uh, released and hopefully the person that tosses him out will not get plagued. But we have rock hard. This is going to be a huge loss if she dies and then self pooping chef who was so excited to finally get that skill up on food making and no longer no longer so there's uh, put her there let's put self pooping chef who is um has been making all our food uh i hope that you appreciate this are you yeah you're going to do that one self pooping chef is just going to go right there and pretty sure that the plague is horribly contagious so I don't really know what to do about um, treating them. It's like, 
Jesus! Am I going to uh, make my doctor sick all the time and then the doctor goes around the colony and gets sick and gets other people sick and such and, and so forth and so on? I don't know! Jeez, he's really sickly, okay, that's good. Uh, hopefully Firecracker will not get plagued either. So, uh, I don't know, man, I, I might just make a hole here and make them get up and treat each other. <laughs> that could be a way to do it, but of course it, it you know, entails uh, far more of a risk. I think I'm just going to have the doctor treat them. And hopefully if the doctor gets plagued themselves, which I don't even know who is our, our current doctor right now, having lose, lost a... Uh, uh, man whore. What was her name? Man eater. <laughs> uh, I mean, lost man eater. Who is our our doctor right now? Mm -mm -mm -mm. We have useless. We have face punch. I think useless is going to be our doctor for these guys. We're going to make face punch like much lower priority, and I realize that the treatment quality will be lower. But you know, it means that face punch is not going to go, and. Um, Put herself at risk, it's very important. So we're going to draft her right away, put her, send her on the way, just so she's halfway to the medication by the time that, uh, by the time that they got, they get to the bed. And now we're going to undraft her. Who do I value more? Rock hard. So Rock hard is going to get, no, wait, 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 wait. I must have disabled the medication. Yeah. All right. Uh, cancel that order. And prioritize here. Actually, let me think a moment. Let's um, zone because this does not spoil in uh, in quite a long time. We're going to make a stockpile right there, and it's going to have a critical priority. Clear everything. Manufactured. W where is the medicine? Raw resources? No. Texas medicine. Just put all the medicine there, and I'm just going to have her. Can she haul? Can she haul? Have her. Can she haul it? Ah, oh, Jesus, she's not a hauler, I don't think. Firecracker, are you a hauler? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Medicine reserve are useless. Okay. I I want you I want you to stop doing things so that I can maybe haul things to this stockpile. <laughs> maybe. I will disallow medicine right there, and somebody will haul it, and hopefully the person that goes in here won't get a whiff of plague the moment that they go in there. Um, for now, though, yeah, I think she's just reserving the medicine, so that's why I can't even right-click it. It's a, a little fiddly sometimes, Rim World, to transport certain things. But what I'm trying to do is put the medicine, all the medicine, right here, and that way this whole trip doesn't have to happen all the time. Uh, maybe Handyman is totally... What are you doing? What do you have play? Oh, everybody! More than I see, the messages only shows three, but there's way more! <laughs> How many do have the play? Let's see. Uh, Rock Hard, Handyman, the Puppy Jeff. That's it. Okay, so we do... We have three people with play. That is upsetting. Rest until heal, Handyman. We're going to take care of you. Everybody's gonna t be taken care of and hopefully useless will not get plagued by treating these poor chaps uh, cr uh, Well, I asked for a crisis and the crisis has come uh, <laughs> I am so there you go H hold the medicine over there uh, Oh, yeah, okay, that, that's fine He's warning me. Hey, we have no more freaking medicine. No, no, but obviously What are you doing? I think I'm Marvel. All right, I I need to watch closely what everything's everybody's doing because I am concerned. Of course, everybody needs top quality. Actually, only her top quality. These fools get her herbal medicine. There you go. We don't give a crap about. I mean, we do care about them. They're part of our colony now, but the priority is saving Rock Hard. Uh, sh she's still untreated. Are you kidding me right now? Are you freaking kidding me? Right now? <clears throat> going to be pissed off at you. I think with all the fiddling that I did, I cleared her priority and then she went uh, to do something else. Worthless. Yeah, all right. You're, you're doing rock hard. That is your number one priority. We got to make sure that self pooping Chef, Handyman, and Rock Hard are, are well taken care of. Uh, you know what? Useless. Useless. Uh, yeah, you are the 
Why is Worthless stringing anybody? Seriously, I just let Worthless, the my worst medic, treat freaking rock hard. Ah! Go away. Go away. Useless. I don't give a crap what you're doing. Prioritize three rock hard. There you go. There you go. Why does she have a, a club? Oh, because I drafted her. Derp, derp, derp. All right. Consuming fine meal and she goes over there. Wow. Consume that fine meal, you fool. God damn it. <laughs> this is upsetting. Anyway, we're going to be very closely monitoring these people. Okay, that, uh... She's feeding rock hard. We don't give a crap of a self booby chef. What kind of knees do you have? Yikes. This is a lot of bad things. I do wish that I had TV to entertain these fools. Uh, They're going to be joy deprived pretty soon. Luckily, rock hard is okay, but uh, these guys are not doing well. So, uh, okay. This is doing okay now. Treated, treated, treated. So, Blake. Immunity in 36%, so that's pretty okay. Wonder where it started. Probably the quality of treatment makes a difference. Probably the quality of the bed makes a difference. Hopefully she oh, okay, she's in the superior bed. That also works out real nice for me. Uh what kind of needs do you have, my friend? Okay, you're fed. You need to be fed by useless. Come on, useless. You need to step up to the plate. I know that you are in grave, grave danger of getting plagued yourself. But uh, you, we're, you're going to soldier through it. You gotta just be resilient. You gotta make it. You're all guys gotta make it. Maybe it's not a great idea in the real world to put the medicine where all the plague is at. It could be, you know, a, a, a danger of contagion, <laughs> of con contamination of this medicine. But this is Rim World World, and I'm pretty sure that, that it doesn't go that far. I, I'm pretty sure also that it is contagious, the plague. It will just start spreading to other people that are in contact with it. But hopefully it won't happen. Like our friend Worthless will not get uh, plagued until after these guys have had a chance to recover and then they can treat with immunity. They can treat, at least one of these guys, can treat our, our uh, intrepid doctor. So fearless, so... Freaking selfless. What an amazing character. I am just so pleased with her. Amazing. And I called her worthless or useless. One of them. <laughs> Firecracker, what are you doing? What exactly are you doing? Nobody gives a shit about this plant. Get out of there. And what we're going to do. Because this is serious business. We're going to... Uh, where's the thing? Uh, we're going to manage areas. We're going to make a new area. And we're going to call it... Quarantine. Quarantine. And we're going to... Close that. Go over to the zone menu. We're going to say... Oops, 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 my bad. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'll get it done, don't worry about it. Ah, there you go. Quarantine. We're going to put this there and that and then we're going to go to manage areas we're going to invert it and now we're going to go to the restriction and anybody that is not god damn it <laughs> that is not firecracker definitely anybody that is not involved in this garbage Useless and face punch, right? Our intrepid doctor was useless. So we want worthless out of there. Maybe I should have made the the naming a little bit less ambiguous. We want worthless out of there and she's unrestricted. So this means that firecracker, worthless, and face punch. Will not go into to the quarantine zone, and hopefully nothing else will happen where people get sick and need a hospital. We'll just set up a hospital somewhere else, because yeah, nobody, nobody needs to go in here. Please, no shit, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I had everybody selected. Derber derber der. Still pooping chat. Rest on heal. Rest until healed. Nobody does anything. You get no joy. Nothing. Everybody just resting. 
Alright. And at the moment somebody needs treatment, Useless is going to go and treat them up. What are you doing? Already already getting the treatment. Okay, I'm sorry. They already need the treatment. Oh come on. Come on, Useless. Why are you not? Are you playing favorites right now? Are you Are you playing favorites? This is very disappointing to me. Why are you giving her food instead of treating the medicine? Hold that. <laughs> Go over there and treat her! You dumb piece of garbage! This is our most valuable member. How is the plague? Uh, 57%. It's still minor. We have a good chance here, I feel. The cats, I'm not going to worry that they could contract plague. I think it's uh, not. it will not uh, transfer the race barrier. I would like this to be hauled out of here, though. It is a horrible eyesore. Um, but you know, we are a little bit low on, uh, useless. Useless. Yeah, yeah, okay. You're the doctor, so you are allowed to go and plant some plants. I, I allow that. You're not sick yet. Uh, Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. Everything's going fine. Digging into the mountain. This is going to be basically our crafting, like, the ma massive crafting area. Um, because later on there is much, much bigger things that you can build. In fact, have I unlocked? I don't think I have. It will be production. Simple. Yeah, we don't have the big research ta table yet. We need a call a bit more. I think you do unlock it with the thing that I'm researching right now, which is the microelectronic basics. High-tech research bench. Yeah, there you go. Pretty important stuff. It will make my research be a little bit less painful. But yeah, now we are just getting through this plague. Why would you insult your doctor? I know you're cranky, but come on, man. You don't have to be like this. He got joy out of it, so I guess... <laughs> you really don't have very good survival skills, handyman. You're kind of a moron. Cheering up, patient handyman. <laughs> and she's like, go fuck yourself. That is so realistic, man. I actually appreciate that. <laughs> That's funny. Usually it's like, oh, you can do it. You, you, you're a hardy guy. You know you can, with any, uh, with all of your determination, you can get through this. I know that this sucks right now, but it's gonna get better. And he's like, go fuck yourself. I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, that sucks. Uh, this is a conversation that has happened. Uh, I hope that you appreciate the reenactment that I have provided for you. What are you doing right now? Are you feeding uh, people? No, you're feeding yourself. I'm just watching them very, very closely. Still minor. And 71%? I think we're going to make this. At least Rockheart is going to make it. Really? You have not treated? Hmm. 67%. There you can notice the difference between the quality of the bed. 73%. Uh, useless. I hope that you're uh, treating this person. Uh, there is no, There is no sleep for you. Where are you? You went to sleep without treating Handyman. I know that he insulted you, man, but that is no excuse to not treat your patient. You have to be a professional. You can't be like that. No, 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 no. Useless. I'm, I know that you're having a rough time. Are you, are you getting grumpy? No, you are. You're fine. Uh, there is... No, not feeding. I'm sorry. There you go. Uh, there's no sleeping until you treat these people. Come on. And maybe also the difference uh, in immunity. Why? Did you just do that? What are you doing? I told you to rest until healed. I don't think that he got uh, that order, actually. Rock hard, really? What's her deal? Ah, she just needs food. That's fine. Uh, and, of, and then she's getting cheered up. Well done, well done, useless. You know your duty. Well done. He's gonna keep all the patients in the bare minimum. But she's actually close. She's actually close to, to surviving this horrible disaster. And we might get through Plague. I am uh, surprised because I didn't expect... I thought that Plague was a, basically a death sentence. Poor mood. As is to be expected. Useless. Are you really that tired? You're going to be just fine. Don't worry about it. Just feed him. Uh, I know that she's our only doctor. I really should not be abusing her right now. But, you know, she'll get through it. Then she'll get all sorts of man concubines. It will be amazing, oh, the, the fantastic story that she's going to have. Uh, there's another one with poor mood. Oh, yeah, Useless has not fed the other guy. I know that you need to relax, but you need to feed this person. Come on. 
I have to micromanage the doctor. I, this can't be. This is just terrible. Your handyman is definitely not doing great. How about you clean this sand? <laughs> Maybe that'll cheer him up to see you do manual labor. Um, how are you? 85%. 87%. Wow. It's not progressing as fast as I would want it to, but it's progressing okay. Ah, okay, the poor mood has cleared. Probably he was just being a pussy. He was being a freaking... Did you insult your guy? No, it didn't go right. I don't know why that insult happened. It just, he was just grumpy from, you know, having a, a plague. <laughs> Let's see. I am still... What? How long until the next stream? In 1.5 hours. She's not going to get any, any sleep. Sucks. He'll need to be need to be treated pretty soon too. Mm -hmm. da -da -da. Man, they're rock hard. She needs joy. She needs all sorts of things. But she's gonna she's gonna break through. Come on, you can do it. Unity ninety three percent. Already untreated there. Useless. How tired are you? You can't need the 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 rest. But we're going to. Uh, just disturb you. I'm sorry that you had to go through this. She's going to get a whole bunch of debuffs, but you know her mood is excellent. So, because she loves doctoring people, apparently. I think that's the reason. Oh, no. I think it's the social. She loves to be with people, perhaps. Uh, that I would check that right here. Yeah, and she has a burning passion for it. So she actually gets a mood boost from talking to the patients, even when they are just calling her all sorts of horrible things, like son of a... Uh, Boomalo Rat, bo Boom Rat, and all sorts of terrible insults. She still gets a kick out of it. She's the, you know, human doormat. I appreciate having her. Uh, she's kind of making everything dirty. I don't appreciate that. I don't think that's her fault, though. I think that is simply from all the digging. And this has not been cleaned. And that is upsetting. Mm, probably should have put a little bit of food here as well. Because, you know, this wastes quite a bit of time. Hmm... It's all good. It's all good. We're going to get through. At least Rock Hard is going to get through. I don't know about the rest. Uh, but we're pretty close to being able to survive this. And unless this poor mood results in horrible disaster, this should be just fine. I mean, it's not extreme yet. The, the plague is going to clear without even becoming extreme. That is fantastic. Well done. Well done. Compact the machinery. Oh, really? Nice. Cool. Alright, the only immunity. Uh, is she still contagious though? That is a question that I have for you. I wonder. Should I take the risk to let her out of bed because she's pissed off at uh, being so joy deprived? Or should I continue her to just to be in bed, get that um get that all the rest in? while she heals because you know probably a bad idea to have a plague ridden person just basically being our patient zero going around spreading her contagion even though she might not be uh, vulnerable to it herself probably still want the plague person to be quarantined to this to the medical ward so let's just leave her there at the risk of her having a having a uh, Mental break. How about that? Uh, maybe I can make a horseshoe thing in here and they can all get their food brought. This is a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a... Setback. <laughs> Alright. Well, we have the challenge that we asked for. Uh, we are three men down. Or three units down. So this... Probably going to be a disaster. I'm going to leave it right here as a cliffhanger. We have the raid with the plague ridden ward. I really don't want that plague to spread to all my the rest of the colony. We have developed the immunity, we've treated it right. But if we get them out of there, man, and they are our our pretty pretty uh, damn good military units. I actually handyman is kinda garbage. <laughs> He's hungry. Uh, but rock hard. She loves to shoot people in the face. self pooping chef is basically our best shot. Might have to risk getting them out of bed and into a fight 
with all the mood breaks that that will entail. So probably the moment that the next video starts, we're going to just feed them, them to go eat, then everybody else get drafted however many uh, I can, and just leave Handyman in there. Uh, I kind of need to risk it because these are quite a lot of people. They are... We have six people, we need to... Seven people, so we need to bring down four of them. Luckily they don't have guns, it's all bows and clubs, so it shouldn't be a horrible disaster. But probably one of these fools is going to bite the dust. So we'll see what happens in the next episode. This is very, very interesting. Finally, we're going to have a little bit of a crisis where we can die. <laughs> ah, interesting stuff. I hope that you're enjoying it so far. Let's, let's save right here. And so I can remind myself, myself, plague plus raid. There you go. Death Hole. It's finally living up to its name. Hope that you enjoyed so far. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, don't let the plague rot your brain. <laughs>